Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and we're going to take a look and check out how the team's doing. I uh, usually come around uh, for a new episode uh, around February but actually because I haven't recorded an episode in a while I decided to come back just before Christmas so it's the 11th of December 2027 um, and we're going to just play a match just kind of check in how the team's doing before I do. Uh, just to let you know, there's no changes in the team, so still the same players you are used to seeing. The league, we are in 13th. We started off really well. Where's the graph? Started off really well in uh, in and around the, well, not in the promotion zone, but like around the promotion zone. We took a little dip and we stabilized around 13th. We're going to hope to make some ground now and um, progress forward into those playoffs um, um, places again but we're gonna have to work hard for it because we don't really have the players for that the youth team's doing okay not as well as last season i guess the players must have got better overall in that league so we are currently in eighth um da -da -da. yeah so a strong squad yeah so finances are actually pretty healthy i've although i have not been able to uh, ask for any improvements from the board. Maybe I'll do that one. And maybe I'll do that one. And they're not convinced by it. We are currently affiliated with Forest Green, although we haven't seen any benefits from it, other than a little bit of cash at the beginning of each season. Uh, yeah, so I think the club is going pretty well. Um, dynamics wise, we've got excellent cohesion. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's it's there. We don't have a team leader just yet, although I'm guessing some of some of these guys will. One of these guys will advance to that role. Probably the goalkeeper because he plays all the time. Um, yeah, uh, Dylan also plays quite often, but maybe not as often as required to become a team leader. Yeah, nothing really to say other than the fact that we are doing okay. I wish we were doing a bit better. <coughs> I'm sorry, I just had a urgent uh, urge to sneeze. Right, okay, so let's take a look at a game. Uh, for the squad, we are going to go with Owen in goal, with Greenwood and Dabrowski uh, on either side of the fence, Good, uh, Goodley and Brown. And the center, Tensley and Gilmore in midfield, with Ross Lang and Dylan at the um, wings at the front, with Haggerty and Churdley uh, bringing up the front of the spear. Now, um, just while we are on this topic, let's go on to the ages. A lot of these guys are new gens now, so you have a chance to go onto Patreon and name them with your own name. And we can then check on their progress. The same thing goes for the N18s, any of these. I'll probably start with the ones that have the most potential. Um, most potential and highest ability, that kind of thing. So, say, um, McElvely, Elvin Lee will be the first one to be named if you're the first person to um, put the. Um, yeah, to, to request to name a. Um, a player on, on Patreon. So the, it's very easy to do, you just go to the link in the, um, the description or you can go to the little icon in the profile of the YouTube channel. Uh, go onto Patreon and then there are two options. Name a new gen, which will be a youth team new gen, or name a senior new gen, uh, which is like one pound more expensive. So it's I think the options is five pounds and six pounds. So for five pounds you can name a new gen and for six pounds you can name a senior new gen. And I think Recrown isn't, but he is. Yeah, all the I think it's eight in total. We've got, and then we can follow them along in that way. Okay, let's go on to the match. Playing Bromley, we're expecting to lose here, so I've gone defensive, and um, hopefully that will mean we won't lose for too too many goals <sighs> in the next episode um i'll come back around february and i'll show you any changes to the squad uh, i don't expect there to be many changes to be honest 
but yeah, we'll just catch up and see how we did um, during the Christmas period. That'll give us a better indication on where we're going to end up in the season as well. As far as the FA Cup, we lost to... Oh, I can't remember who. It was a team from Skybet League 1, so quite a lot higher than us uh, in the league system. Yeah, we, we lost in round 1. And we are still in the FA Trophy. I don't think we've played a match for the FA Trophy yet, actually. Yeah, so, um, so that's going to be coming around. And, and last year we won the FA Trophy, so hopefully we we'll, can maintain that record. And although we're not getting promoted up the leagues, at least we can get a uh, if we can get a trophy, that'll be excellent because it will help us to maintain that reputation and attract better players, maybe. Oh, that was a really bad attempt. Somebody should have shot a bit more decisively. Spend too much time on the ball. <laughs> I'll probably let's see if we can get the um the league table up next stop. Um, yeah. Probably are in seventh currently. Sorry guys, I'm I'm having lots of sneezes this morning, so I think I feel another one coming soon, so <laughs> excuse me. So really coming off for Adam Oshia. I'm so impressed that Adam Oshia is still around. Because he's not a great player at all. He just does okay for us in that position. Even though he's a terrible player. Actually, let's have a look at him. Uh, can I have a look at Adam Oshia? There we go. Adam Oshia is a terrible, terrible player. But somehow, he just manages to cruise through and keep on going. Um, with us, to be fair. So, there we have it. He doesn't, he's not good enough to be playing in a senior level at all. But he's been with us pretty much since the start, to be honest. A couple of seasons in, I think. Alright, so, last sub. And Kieran is one of our own, um, was with us since the start from my youth system. So it's really good to hear a player um, like that in our squad. Also Sam Tomkinson, I forgot about him, he's also from my youth system. So very good to see that our youth system is paying off and giving us senior players. Although they're not like the best senior players, they're not key players in the team. But still, pretty good bench players. Bromley dropped down to eight. I think we're still in 13th or 14th. We're definitely going to need to improve and go up the table. Last season we finished eighth, just like a couple points. I think two points away from the playoffs. So I think this season we definitely need to try and make it to the playoffs. Lucky for us, that was offside by quite a bit. I've got a chance to counter-attack here. Let's see. Oh. Well, I hate it when the highlight stops there. Really disappointing.
yeah, so we definitely need to finish within the playoffs because that will show some progression. Or at least maintain our 8th, although I would love to go through the playoffs because that would be quite an exciting episode to play. Okay, and that's it. We managed to draw. I thought we were going to lose that one, but somehow we managed to draw that one. Hold it. To be fair, Oshia... Uh, not Oshia, what's his name? O'Neill? Or is his name just Owen? I can't remember. I can't remember the goalkeeper's name. I need to check that. Um, ba -ba -ba. Owen. Yeah, just Owen. His name is just Owen. Yeah, he's been doing quite well for us. A great goalkeeper. Uh, he does concede at least once a game. Um, but that could be a lot worse, to be fair, at this level. Okay, I'm going to call it there. And uh, we are going to rendezvous again around February after I've done all the transfers and all that. Yeah, I might even come in in January, just depends how all of the transfers go. And we'll uh, catch up then, see wh where we are. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Patreon too. And um, yeah, take care. See you next time. Bye.